Hello, and welcome back. I'm Kiki, and this is your regularly scheduled Sunday video. I wanted to do a bit of a video where I look back not just at last month, but over all of the Linktobers that I've done. This will be have been the fourth year that I participated. I'll start with 2017, which is the first year that I did. Uh, when I did do this, I gave myself about an hour to two hours for each picture, and I did everything digitally. Day one of, of, of Linktober 17 uh, was Champion, so I went with Rivali because he's sassy. Why not? But I like how he came out, and he's probably one of my favorites from that year, and I actually haven't looked through these in a while, so, you know. Let's keep going. Day two was Merchant. Not a fan of this one. I just kind of, I, mm, we're gonna move on. Day three was Korok. So, you know, who else am I gonna do but my favorite? Little Makar Violin Dude. He's adorable and I love him. Uh, Boss. Uh, I have done getting him every single year and the first time I did it, I did him in his true form. I'm not super happy with this one now. I think I was pretty happy with it back then. But like now I see all of the, you know, mm. it's still really good. Don't get me wrong, but I have definitely come a long way in four years. This was the Zora prompt. I did myself as Zora mainly because I didn't feel like doing anybody else, so I just did myself. This was my attempt at uh, Neryu, I think it is how you say your name, for the goddess prompt. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of how I did her here now, especially not after redrawing her this past year um, when I did all three of the goddesses. Then Urabosa, I mean, you know, what can you say about this queen? She's freaking amazing, and I am actually still pretty happy with this one and how I got the colors and all the shapes and stuff together. Um, I didn't get her hair color right, though. I do know that her hair isn't red enough. It's too orange. But, you know, I like her pose and, you know, the sass. And, yeah, overall, I'm still pretty happy with this one. I theme of mask. I just literally just drew some masks. Um... I think this was my first time doing the Majora's Mask. Forgot to do the white. Oh my gosh, I did. I forgot to do... Hold on. I didn't put the white in. You can see where the white was supposed to go. <laughs> Oops. Uh, retro. This, was, this one took me a little bit to figure out. Um, I'd never really done pixel art and I didn't have a good way to do pixel art. I still don't have a good way to do pixel art. So I thought it would be kind of fun to draw a link normally. It's just some random link. It's not any version in particular here. And then make it look like he's slowly turning into pixels and kind of is like, wait, what's going on? I love the prompt. It's big baddies. Uh, I did, I did shadow link. I did some shading on him and then the other parts have no shading. That's kind of weird. Um, this one, I'm not a fan of how I cut it off. I probably should have just, like, had his legs there up to, like, the boots. But, I mean, it's not terrible. I like my little nod to the tree back there. Musical instruments. Um, I'm not sure what I did with the background here, but I do like it. You know, and then I got the harp and the ocarina and the pan flute. And I almost did the pan flute this year. I don't know why I didn't. I should have. Ghost. I did this one without any line work. And I still actually kind of like it a lot. I mean, the lantern's super wonky. But I like the colors. And yeah. The background's kind of fun. Navi. Fairy. Prompt. It's not bad. Tetra. As the, as the Zelda prompt, because why not? I think last year for the Zelda prompt, I also did Tetra. Just because I didn't feel like doing any other Zelda. It's okay. Me as a Kikui, 
though I did green leaves instead of red leaves. Later on, I used uh, Crayola Model Magic and did Miyazakiki again, and I did do red leaves for my me red hair snake or serpent. So I did the uh, Lanryu spirit thing from Twilight. I like how he came out and all of the little woof woof. woof, woof. That it is. I probably could have made him a little bit more glowy though. <clears throat> uh, Link's assistant. I chose Minna because she's cute. This was a pain in the butt, <laughs> but I do like I do like how she came out in the background and all of that. I did. I do still really like this one. This one's not that good. This, it's, I, I'm not, I don't have anything other than say on that. This was NPC and this was, it's not that good. I mean, the flowers on her dresser, okay, that's probably the best part. <laughs> uh, Goron. I did Daruk because why not, you know? It's Daruk and he's awesome. Uh, mouth sort of seems slapped on though. Butternut. Uh, Shika. I did Paya because she's adorable. I'm still pretty happy with this one. Dragon, I did Volu. I tried to kind of make it look like he was swimming in the clouds. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what I was doing. He's flying right at the edge of the clouds and he, he looks like... He's Nessie. Grandma! I love Grandma from Wind Waker. She's so adorable and sweet. I didn't make her plump enough though. I needed to make her a little bit more plump. Um, This was my rendition early on of my link from darkness descended i have made alterations obviously um but yeah this was this was that i mean it's not bad i do still like it but uh i like i like my new design i was not feeling good this day i do remember that i felt like absolute trash and i also couldn't pick a favorite character so i just did a few I think I did this in about 20 minutes. Night. I did one of the Phantom Hourglass Nights just because and I did some some practice with shading metal. I think it turned out pretty good. I do still like this one. I mean this part down here is a little awkward I think. I like this one. I think I spent a lot longer on this one than I did a lot of the others. This was me stealing Link's Helium set. This is the Zelda of my Darkness Descended story. Um, I did try to redraw her this this year. I made her a little too small on the paper to do the detail work well. And I also made her hair far too dark um, in the new one. But I do still really like this one. The only reason I had redrawn it this year is because I wanted to kind of slightly update like some little things off of it and it didn't work. Well, I think I like this one a little bit better than the new one. Uh, Impa. I did the Skyward Sword Impa because I really like her design, even if she's a little bit... Um, I mean, she gets a little better. I really like how I did it, though, um, using the, the cape to sort of cut it off and, and stuff like that. But, uh, yeah, I don't think she turned out too bad. The Fairy. I like this one. I like my shell in the background. Um, her arms could probably be a little better though. And this is the final day. This was the free-for-all. I'm surprised it looked this good considering I was not in a good place that day despite it being Halloween. I had had a massive panic attack earlier that day. But uh, yeah, I'm really happy with how it came out and how Wolf Link looked. Look at him, he's so cute. Oh, look at his face. He's adorable. Look at his little blip face. But he's so cute. They love him. That was year 17. And so for this one, uh, this is 2018. I decided to include Inktober as well as Linktober and didn't want to do every single prompt, just one because I was doing it traditionally with a medium I hadn't used before, um, and also just to kind of not burn out. Uh, so I had decided to 
do one picture each week and just put four prompts into it. Two from the Inktober calendar and two from the Linktober calendar. So the first one, which is not great, uh, it was more me messing around and trying to figure out what to do, uh, was from the Inktober calendar was Tranquil and Spell and the Linktober calendar was Fairy and Rito. So I have Melody as my Rito. I have the idea of a fairy. <laughs> the fairy is using a spell to make the, the musical instruments play and so it's tranquil. Music is... A, it's not great. It was a good warm-up idea, concepty thing to let me figure out kind of what I was doing. So, uh, yeah, that was, that was that one. The prompts from the Inktober was Precious and Star, and the prompt from Linktober was Link and Favorite Place. So I did a very long torso Link, um, <laughs> with his loft wing under a starry sky, and his favorite, pl his, his favorite place is hanging out with his loft wing up in the sky, so uh, there you go. And it's a precious moment. And it's his precious, his precious friend. And I did do this one and my other favorite, again, as digital art. And I tried to sort of give it like a storybook feel. I'll show you those ones too. So this was week three. Um, I had fun with this one, you know, making it all look broken down and stuff like that. I'm not sure what did I think there was an idea of maybe it being for my darkness descended story but I'm pretty sure it's not so he's there at this temple the themes from the Inktober were scorched and breakable so it's you know it's scorched and things are broken so obviously it is breakable and then the Linktober was Ganon or Ganondorf and then temple obviously I do like the design for the temple like I, I like I like that He's... this is my first favorite of the five here. Let me just get you a good look at it here. But yeah, this is this one's my first favorite. The prompts from the Inktober calendar were Thunder and Muddy, so he's he fell down into mud and he's all muddy and no, no, there's, there's lightning and thunder. You can't really, like, visually show thunder, so there's lightning instead. And then the Linktober was Link's assistant and creature. Technically, a Kikui would be a race, not a creature, but it, it still kind of counts in my book. Because they're like, they're like little... How did the, the creator of Linktober refers to them as tree penguins? And I love the idea because they're tree penguins. <laughs> it's so cute. Uh, but this one is also one that I recreated digitally. Uh, again, I will also show those two as well. And then the final one was the, the prompt was gift and slice for Inktober and then redesign a character and animal or pet from Linktober. So, um, gift of pet, a slice of cake, uh, and my redesigned game. Yay. So it's, it's a hypothetical situation that I haven't actually reached in the story of in a year from getting him becoming Link's sort of, you know, celebrate anniversary. Yay. I mean, I do like how it turned out. It's, his face is really weird there. Just look at it. I like my Ramlet. It's very cute. Look at the Ramlet. It's so adorable. Link didn't turn out too bad. Gary Hem's very weird though. But yeah, so that was... Let me put these back in order here. So that was year 18. And while I'm putting these back in order, I will also pop up the pictures here of the digital versions of this one and that one. And I did leave the first page blank and there's a reason for that. Because on Free For All next year, what I plan to do is come back to this page and I will essentially create a cover page for it. So the first day of 19 for Linktober, this one I strictly did the Linktober prompts 
I did do every day just the pens for the line work and the alcohol markers. This was ancient. The trees could definitely be better, but they're not terrible. I do like how I did leaves. That's the word for it. This is supposed to be the sword in the sacred grove of Twilight Princess. The next was Fairy Fountain, and I am actually still really, really proud of this one. This is one that I want to redo digitally, just to give it extra glow and magicalness. But I am really proud of this one and how I got, like, the reflection and, 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 like, I, like, just this back here is probably the part I'm, like, most proud of. I'm very happy with this one. Okay, next. I believe the prompt was Impa, so this is Impa from Breath of the Wild. Um, it's Impa from Breath of the Wild. I don't have anything else to say. Ganondorf. Wind Waker style. Pretty happy with this one. This was Spirit. I'm really happy with it. I was afraid I wouldn't get the colors right. He's obviously not as glowy and magical looking as he is in the game, but it is what it is. I really like how it turned out. I probably could have put a bunch more of the petals around because there are actually a lot of petals around in that area, but I think he turned out pretty good. The theme here was Dinario Farore. Uh, I chose Din. And I wanted to make her look like a badass. And I, I, my idea was for her to look like the Grudo. And I think I sort of, you know, she looked like a badass Grudo with firepower. But this is the image that inspired me to do all three goddesses again. And I did those digitally. Um, and I really like how, how, how they all came out and stuff like that. Yes. Go girls. Go power. This was favorite character. This was my initial drawing for how I plan to have him on my tattoo, because this is going to be a, a Zelda sleeve. I, I drew him here, and then I took this and I digitized it. Um, I think it was like my last picture of 2019, or it was like my first picture of this year. I don't remember. But uh, that was I did digitize him and fix him up and make him look better and that's gonna be what my tattoo is. It's not gonna be the whole thing, it'll just be like that. This was the pets animals prompt again, but I just sort of randomly threw animals together and you know, I mean they're cute. Like I like my cat and I like my bird and my foxy and the money couldn't be better, the pig. Um, but these animals would not sit all here together in peace. You know, the fox would be eating the rabbit, the pig would be running away, the yeah, it wouldn't be good. But yeah, so this was Forest. So I wanted to do that that really kind of iconic scene um, where in a Link to the Past, there's the kid who's playing the flute in the forest and then like the thing happens and you know, he's cursed and like all that's left is, you know, this. Uh, I did put this trunk, I didn't, I should have put it here. This is weapon, it's another prompt that I hate. Um, these spiders, the little spiders that are hanging down, and the webs were kind of an afterthought, because at first I just kind of had them there, and I was like, this is kind of, you know, so they're in a forgotten corner somewhere rusting with spider webs all over them. They, ooh, it's raining. Can you hear that? I hope it stops before I have to go to work. Uh, this was Merchant. Uh, I like this one a lot better than the 2017 Merchant. This was the power prompt. So I did, you know, the Triforce of Power. Not that you can tell that that's what that one is. Uh, the symbol of Din and then the Power Gem with fire because fire means power. Because why not? Um, I didn't do a video of it. But I did take this and the Courage and Wisdom prompt and put them together in a digital picture. And um, for when I was part of the Zelda Creator Con and put them together as a full image. And yeah, I, I really like how that turned out. That was actually my initial intent when I did this is I was for those other two prompts. I was going to do the other ones and then I was going to bring them all together digitally. And I really like how that final bit turned out. Tetra for the Zelda theme again. Because Tetra is the best Zelda. 
Uh, but I brought in, you know, it's Tetra, but like I brought in elements of her also being Zelda. This is another one that I did redo digitally. I do have a video of that one. Uh, this is another one that I redid digitally that I also have a video of. I still love this version, this traditional version, but I also really love the digital version I did. Just because with the digital version, I was able to go a lot spookier with it. Um, and because when I was doing this one, I hadn't figured out a background yet. But yeah, I, I do love how this one came out. It's, it's definitely one of my favorites. This one was not one I was excited for. It was not one that I was happy with. It's not one that I cared about. Still don't necessarily care about it, but looking back at it, I was like, this is a thing that I did, and it's really not that terrible. It's just not something that I was really thrilled about having to do. The next prompt was Dragon. It really, like, especially digitally, like, oh, well, not digitally, sorry. When you look at it through a digital object, it does really look like it's glowing, and I love it. Um, not quite as much in person, but it does still portray the fact that he is luminescent. Um, I did mess up a little bit on his design. I didn't quite, like, get this part right. I did go back and do him digitally as well. It's not a video, but I did do it. But yeah, this is... I do really like this one. This one's this one's definitely one of my top my top picks here. Let me. Uh, this was the wisdom prompt. The I was trying to figure out how to get the water to look okay. I think I sort of did. This was the boss prompt. My little link down here in the Phantom Ganon, and that's that's what that is. I was more attempt at glowiness, and you know I think I. I think I did pretty good with that. I really like this one. This was um, around the time when Link's Awakening came out, the the remastered version, and I really like it. This is so cute. It looks like I love the change. <laughs> I love him so much. He's adorable. I love how I got the shield and stuff. This was the companion prompt. I almost read it as champion. I made a comment this year that when there was the companion prompt, I again almost read it as champion. Originally, I was going to do Mifa for this, you can- But there is still the very light sketch of Mifa there. This was... I think this was just Graveyard. I think was all the prompt is for this one. Yeah, Graveyard. Uh, da -da -da, but yeah. I do like this one. I like this one better than the- the- the village one. It's me as a Korok. I forgot I did me as a Korok. I remembered I did me as a Zora and me as a Kikui, but I forgot I did me as a Korok. That's me, he's a Korok! Uh, and then just some other random Koroks heading about. I did, um, a little sneak at the next one. Almost forget to put that little paper there. And it did bleed through a little bit onto this, but you can't see because of how we put the colors. Uh, but yeah, this was a lot of green and my camera didn't like me when I tried to take a picture. Which I suppose <laughs> is a it's thematic considering when you're in the Korok fo for forest in Breath of the Wild, the frame rate is terrible. Anyway, this was Great Fairy or Fairy Queen. Um, I chose the Fairy Queen from Wind Waker. This is another one that I did redo do redo do 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 traditionally, but I do really still love the traditional one. Yeah, redesign Link's outfit. So I kind of tried to do like a, like an Assassin's Creed type of thing. Um, it could be better, but this is essentially a another take on how he finds Gerahim in the Skyward Sword story. But uh, yeah, I like I like my tree here. This was Zoro Domain. This is technically the entrance to Zoro Domain, not the actual Zoro Domain. But I do really like it. It's another landscapey one. Um, but I do like it. I, you know, it, it didn't, it didn't turn out too bad. I like how I got the water. This one was race, race or species. And I went with the Minish because they're adorable and I love them. And I haven't had a chance to play the game yet, yet. but I love how it turned out. Uh, this was insect 
bug. Uh, so that's Agatha's hand with her little snail shell ring and then the bug and the, the butterfly and yes, that's what that is. And this was Courage, obviously the third of the three. And uh, yeah, I'm pretty happy with it. And my little plants everywhere. This was NPC Sage. I like how she turned out. I like that I used the green for the shadows. And and yeah, this is probably one of my favorites from this year. From from that year, last year, not this year. Uh, then for the 31st day, I did carve a pumpkin. I will flash it across the screen. This year they did, they also released a shadow, shadow calendar prompt list. Uh, so I decided to do that too. So I did two full calendars. So I didn't do 31 images, I did 62. I kinda hate myself, um, but I love the results. And uh, this is one of my favorites. This was for the shadow calendar. This, this book is entirely shadow calendar and this is the regular calendar. So this was Dark Link or Shadow Link. This is specifically Dark Link. This was Monsters or Enemy. I chose the mini blend just because. So I, I don't know what happened at the top of this page. It was not like this. The first day or two after I finished, I don't know what happened to it. I was flipping back through to like show my dad and it was like that. I don't know what happened to it and I'm so confused. But yeah, this was Goma, my my version of Goma, just because. Uh, and then this was the redrawing of the Zelda that I did for the, the first year. Day three was time. So, you know, it's the Ocarina of Time, there's a clock, there's ivy that's growing, and you know, it's starting to deteriorate. Varen, never played her game. I, I don't really... It's a thing that I did. The Nightmares. Nightmare. From Link's Awakening. That, that's the game. Uh, and then day four for here was Favorite Place. I'm really happy that I decided not to use line work for this one. Would you focus, please? Thank you. Uh, and I love how it came out. It's, it's like, it's, it's so like storybooky and I love it. Uh, this was plants or flora. And again, I was working with some glowy, trying to work with some glowy effects and I, I love how it turned out. Fati. Uh, like I said, I never got the- Why is it blue there? I'm so confused. It's blue over here, too. What the heck? Why is it pink now? It didn't look like that before. I'm gonna show you the picture that I took the day I finished this. It looks like water got on it, but I know water didn't get on it. I'm so freaking confused. This was shop. Um... Mine is beetle. This was this was mount horse ride. It's bad. Don't look at it. Not a favorite. This one on the other hand. My Octo Rocks. I'm not as super like ee about it as I was like the first like you know week and a half after I did them. But I do still really love them. They are still a favorite. And yeah, I do. They're, look at them. They're adorable. Uh, weapon. I made my own because I couldn't decide what else to do. So yes, I'm not quite sure what type of bow it is. It's a bow of some sort that glows and is a thing. Uh, Lionel. Mmm. Yes. Mm, yes. Mmm. Yes. We're moving on. From uh, Ganondorf. I mean, does he need explaining? I don't think he does. Day, this is day nine. Day nine. Day nine. So this was palace or castle. I sort of took the idea of the Ocarina of Time castle and here it is. And my trees. It's a darkness descended castle. At least the rough idea of it. Zaphos, uh, it's based on 
the idea in the Jurassic Park 3 movie where the pterodactyl like turns all slow and creepy towards the camera, and yes, I mean, he turned out a lot better than I was expecting. I wasn't all that thrilled for this prompt, and it still turned out pretty good, so moving on to day 10. That is an Armos. This is my Darkness Descended Link. His sword is on the wrong side. It should be there because he is left-handed, and that's his left hand, not that hand. Oh my gosh, it did the thing again. What the freak? Day 11. Again, this is a younger version of the F1 I showed you. He's looking at you with disdain. Ye be warned if you're afraid of spiders. Ta-da! Scotula! I'm very happy with this. I almost, almost got that perfect 3D effect. 12, this was Yuga. I almost yet read it as Yiga. But uh, I did this one without line work as well, and I really like the effect. It kind of looks kind of gives that sort of painted look to it, I feel like. And I'm pretty happy with how his hair turned out, too. This is really hard to keep bouncing between these. Uh, mask for day 12. Um, I think that kind of speaks for itself. You got the bunny hood there, the mask of truth, and the bomb mask. I don't actually remember what the bomb mask does, but that's the one I picked. So this was Sheikah. I did my own version of Sheik, just because I wanted to come up with my own version of Sheik. No, it has nothing to do with the Darkness Descended story. Not intentionally. I haven't decided if Sheik shows up yet. This is an evil avocado. That's what it is. It's an evil avocado. This one I went a little bit more comical with. Um, it is Link attempting to remember how to cook. This is his um, failures. And he just, it just wants his food. Uh, but yeah, that was me being silly. This was the Moblin prompt. This is this is one of my favorites. I made the spearhead just a little too tiny, but I love how he came out and he just, he looks so awesome. I love him. What is this? This was pets or animals again for day f f 15, 15, halfway there. Okay. Yes, this is what I like to refer to as my Bambi scene. You got Bambi's dad and there, there you got Bambi and you got some birdies and Melodious, it's a floating spectral head thing. My hand hated me. But I love the result. This is definitely one of my favorites. Um, this theme was magic. Originally, I was going to do a redraw of Navi for it. it. I didn't. I hated it. So I redrew it. And now it's a magical medallion. And this is Shadow Link. And that's Zol. And that's a tree that I really, really, really like. And I love how I got all the lighting. And I love it so much. Eh. It's so pretty. But, yeah, okay, so this is Temple. This is the Forest Temple of Darkness Descended Story. And I'm pretty happy with how it came out. Um, in my initial sketch, in my initial digital sketch, back when I first started the story, the building was actually a little bit more round, and I kind of wish I kept that with this. But, uh, overall, I really do like it. Bug. It's a bug. That's all it is. It's literally just a bug. It's called a pet cake. This is a shadow beast coming out of the shadows because I'm clever. Actually, it was unintentional and just sort of happened that way and it turned out really cool. So, unintentional awesomeness. Neither of these were prompts that I was excited about, but they both turned out really cool, actually. So, uh, yeah, this is Twin Mold from Majora. This was the prompt of Ghost or Phantom. I love these little Poe dudes from Wind Waker. They're cute, and they're kind of funny. Uh, this was the theme of Wizrobe. This is my own Wizrobe, because none of the other forms of Wizrobe really excite me that much. So, uh, yeah. Tried to make him... Tried to make him spoopy. I wasn't planning on drawing him this year. But I did. Because he was a prompt. It was, it was actually the prompt was getting him. Shows up a little bit better on the camera, actually, than it does in person. Uh, Melody, again, to, uh, redeem myself from that tragedy. Uh, this is a mixture of Wind Waker style and my style. I really like how it turned out. I love her so much. She's so cute. She's probably one of my favorite characters from Wind Waker, aside from Makar. This theme was ancient. I did the tablet, because tis ancient. Also, technically counts as ancient, I guess, but the theme was Guardian. Yeah, I was afraid the mossy bits wouldn't look good, but it actually looks really nice. 
I forget what prompt I'm on. Uh, this is Keese. Kiss. I like this one the best, I think. I really didn't care about this prompt. Um, but it did, it did actually turn out really good. I do like this one best, though. This was favorite characters. I didn't know what to do, so I just defaulted to my favorite leafy boys. So you have Machi and Makar taking a nap. This was the prompt of Zelda. Oh my god, I did it again! Uh, but this actually redraw of something I did last year in July while I was out of town. It's the theme of Dragon. I chose Volvogia. And I love how it turned out. Look at how it's so cool. This video is going to be atrociously long and I apologize. This was musical instruments. This is the one that I commented that I should have had the pan flute on just to try to fill up a little bit more space. But I was really, really tired and I was almost not going to be able to finish both calendars at this point, so I needed something really simple to get through quickly. Xant was the prompt for this one. I couldn't think of the word. Turned out it's simple, but I do like how it turned out. Please focus, thank you. This theme was Ruins, again it's Darkness Descended, but I really like how this one turned out. Not yet Link and Companion. You're so tiny. Look, they're like, they're smaller than the tip of my finger. I had no idea these things were called bubbles. I've been playing Zelda since I was like nine. I had no idea these things were called bubbles. Map, key, compass. You get the point. It just stares into your soul. And I hate it. It turned out beautifully. Life. That's that's life. This the fairy. Is it pretty? This is one of my favorites. She's so cute. I love how I got her hair. Here's twin the twin rova prompt. I sort of messed up and brought that line down too far. Um and 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 yeah, I probably could have added like, you know, used like my colored pencil and like did a little bit more to it, but I just honestly didn't care. Uh, Floor Master. It's a Floor Master. I don't remember what the prompt is. Outfit. Um, I mean, that's pretty self-explanatory. It's just sort of tossed on the floor. It's the climber set. God, there's so much red. <laughs> this was corrupt. I'm gonna try and get the camera to catch up catch all of the color in there. There we go. Yeah. Okay. Here is Agnahem, who at first I didn't think I had played the game for, and then I looked again, and he's from Link to the Past, so I have played the game for him. It's just, it was like the second Zelda game I ever played, so again, I was like 9 or 10. So that was 16 years ago. You can guess my age now. Simple, but he turned out pretty good. Um, race or species, I turned myself into a Rito. I love, love how it, I, me, she, that turned out. I'm, I'm a bird person. I am now a bird. I love it. And then this thing, this prompt was demise. I tried to play with negative space for never having done it before and sort of botching it up a little bit, I actually think it turned out pretty freaking good. Yeah, when you kind of look at it that way, it looks better than if you look at it straight on. That's the end of the traditional for, for Linktober of 2020. The free for all pictures were done digitally. So if you give me three seconds, don't, don't keep track of seconds. And this was the free-for-all prompt for the main calendar. I did the sixth image for my Skyward Sword story. You've got Gideon and Link heading into the woods and if you with this can go away. Uh, look real closely here into the back. You can see the, the enemies starting to emerge. 
Uh, yeah, those were sort of a last minute addition in there, and I do like that I put them in there. But yeah, so that was the, the last for the main calendar. And then click please, thank you. And then for the last of the shadow calendar, I did, uh, I redid the cover for my Darkness Descended story, which, uh, mm, that's what it used to be. Uh, yeah. Mm, let's go back and look at that one more time. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. Mm, 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 mm. Much better. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. My old art is so cringe to me. When I initially drew this, I accidentally put his sword on the wrong side, like I did with the traditional one. Uh, but I was able to fix it and put it over here, and it actually looks a lot better over here. And I feel like it brings the picture together a little bit more, because now the swords are kind of like pointing in, and it works a little bit better. And there you got, you got Shadow Link in the back there, and this Link, and his companion, and his face is a little short, but it's okay. And, uh, yeah, that's all four years. My jaw hurts. My throat hurts. This is going to be an atrociously long video. Uh, that's four years worth of Linktober. I should have zoomed through the beginning a little bit faster than I did. I wasn't expecting it to take this long, and I should've. I apologize. Well, that's four years of Linktober right there. And if you want to see an art video, I will have links in the card to actual videos where I did these, uh, the playlists of the videos that I did these, and uh, yeah, if you wanna stick around for the art journey, then you know, hit the hit the subscribe and the bell and and stick around. And I apologize for how long this was. One more time, and if you made it through to the end, good job. Hopefully, I'll see you again. 